Hello again. It's Tim from Oracle Base. Dot com. Joins are used to combine data from multiple tables to form a single result set. Oracle provides two approaches to joining tables, the non-ANSI join syntax and the ANSI join syntax, which both look quite different. In this video, we're going to focus on the three main joins you're likely to see in application code. The other joins are explained in the linked article. The first type of join we'll look at is the inner join. An inner join combines data from two tables where there's a match on the joining columns in both tables. This is an example of an inner join using the ANSI syntax. We can see the left hand table, the join keyword, the inner keyword is optional, the right hand table and the join condition. Filter conditions are placed in the WHERE clause. We have a department called operations with a department ID of 40 but it's not shown because it has no employees. Here's an example of an inner join using the non-ANSI syntax. The tables are referenced as a comma separated list in the from clause. The where clause contains both join conditions and filter conditions. The left outer join returns all valid rows from the table on the left side of the join keyword along with the values from the table on the right side or nulls if a matching row doesn't exist. The syntax looks the same as the inner join with the addition of either left or left outer keywords. Switching to the left outer join has allowed us to see the operations department even though it has no employees associated with it. The non-ANSI syntax does have outer joins but it doesn't really have the concept of left or right. The side of the join condition that may have missing rows is indicated with a plus in parentheses. Adding filters to columns returned from an outer join table is a common cause for confusion. If you test the specific value, for example salary greater than or equal to 2000 but the value for the salary column is null because the row is missing, a regular condition in a WHERE clause will throw the row away therefore defeating the object of doing an outer join. Both ANSI and non-ANSI methods have a way of dealing with this. For the ANSI method, you add the filter into the join itself. For the non-ANSI method, all filters against outer join columns have to be flagged. The right outer join is the opposite of the left outer join. It returns all valid rows from the table on the right side of the join keyword along with values from the table on the left side or nulls if matching rows don't exist. Everything we've mentioned about the left outer join is true of the right outer join too. The decision on using left or right outer joins is based on the order of the tables in the from clause. There's a lot more information about joins in the article that goes with this video so check out the links in the description box. Thanks for watching. Like the video if you liked it and subscribe to the channel if you want to see more.